Hi everyone, KakabaRetail.com here and today I'm bringing you an informative video. Now this video is based around GRA certificates. I see online there's a lot of misconceptions about GRA certificates. They say, oh my certificate is real because this reason, your certificate is fake. This video will put everything to rest. So, stay tuned. So what are GRA certificates? Now bear with me here for a moment. I believe they were created to prove legitimacy in a market that could be full of fake stones. So if you get a diamond, an actual diamond, Moissanets are not diamonds, if you get an actual diamond, you may get a report called GIA report. Now GRA feels a little derivative, right? What else is another thing that is very derivative? is these different kinds of GRA certificates I've got. So, people have done thousands of videos on these. I'm just gonna brush over quickly. You see this one? It's really gold, like a nice yellow gold. This one is a, is a goldy gold. I don't know. <laughs> a very nice gold. So let's look at the very nice gold run. GRA Moissanet. If you've seen one before, you've seen them all. So, we'll open it up, have a look. You get this one, which is strikingly familiar to every other GRA report and GIA reports. So we'll open it up. Moissanet report. What is it? It's an emerald cut, 6 by 8 millimeters. Declaration. This certificate is only for reference and internal Moissanet products. Use. Okay. Got some extra spacing there. So one thing you will notice about these reports is you'll get some weird spacing, you know? Like even on the back, I don't know if you can tell, I got this card here. I'll try and put it flush against Seoul. So you see Seoul, S is flush against the card, Taipei, flush against the card. Then they put an extra space for London, I don't know why. London needs some more space? Maybe. So back to the report, every report comes with a number up here. This number, you can feel it, it's just been printed on top of this card, so they manufactured thousands of these cards already and then just stamped a number up here. This QR code is the same, unique to this one's website, which is GRA Laboratory or Laboratory.com. Now I have another one that says GRA.HK, Hong Kong, whatever. Same thing, they got their own QR code. You scan it, it goes to their website, it says, hey, enter your number on your card or on this report and then it will tell you what you got. So this one is the same as the dozens of other ones that I've got. The supplier where I buy the jewelry from, I tell them, I says, hey man, I really don't need your cards anymore. And they just laugh. They laugh it off. They think they think I'm joking actually, but I really I really don't want these. I've thrown some I've thrown so many away already. This is this is a feel good thing, you know? You get something, you buy something, and they give you this extra thing. It's really shiny, really bright, feels expensive, and it's really not expensive. I'm going to post a YouTube short later on. It might arrive tomorrow. I have brought some cards online. I went online, I live in China. I went on Taobao, I brought cards. I said, oh, I need a 0.3 carat, a 0.6 carat, a 1 carat, and a 2 carat. And I'm like, Shoop. send you. I'll send it to you right now. Each card costs, we say, four RMB, RMB. That is about half a dollar. Each card is half a dollar. Feels so expensive. You get a card, you get an envelope, you get your report. Less than a dollar. And <laughs> the best, and the best part is, you scan the code, you enter the code, you get your, you get, you get your online report. So these, these are trash. And we're going to go into further details about it on the computer. All right, so I did this earlier, but I thought we'll do it together. So I had my one website, what was it called? GRA.HK. Okay, that didn't load as expected. All right, so we got our website here, gra.hk. Looks pretty, right? We got our home, let's go to our about page. Okay, certificate, 
Here we can enter our certificate number. Got a news. Featured. Okay, it features some stones here, some information for us. And contact. All right, so we've got some contact details too. All right, so let's start from the start. News. News. Uh, one piece of news, 2019. Happened to be on January 1st. Okay. Contact, contact, featured, featured, certificate, certificate. Okay, so maybe we're practicing English here, I don't know. So let's go to about. All right, the Global Geomology Research Association Institute. Okay, let's stop there. Here we have double spacing. I mean, my keyboard sometimes gives me an extra space, but I noticed that. What we're going to do, we're going to search this. Okay, the Global Gemology Research Association Institute is the standard of excellence in gemstone service worldwide. Gemstone services worldwide. Okay, so we got that. But wait, this is an our GRA. Yeah, I'll do this. But this is an our GRA.hk. What's going on? Oh, maybe they made another website for redundancy. So let's open that up, have a look. Uh, GRA-association.com. Okay, let's go there. There's another one. Okay, more redundancy in case you lose your <laughs> website for some reason. GRAMoisinit.net. Okay, there's another one. All right. Now, if I, if I keep scrolling down, I'm going to keep finding more. I tell you that. But here is another one. This one is called GIA Research, GIA.edu. EDU, for those that don't know, is like education. All right, GIA. Let's look at this. Okay, this emblem here, GIA. Okay, okay. Uh, is this website broken? I don't know. This website's not broken. Oh, they've even got a different logo. Awesome. Okay. Now here, we got our GRA logo. GIA logo. Uh, I would say the frame is a little der derivative. How about the shield? Okay, there's no shield. All right. Okay. Points for originality. We'll leave that one. Okay. So, we got... GRAMoisinit.net Is it going to respond? Maybe it doesn't like me. Let's refresh. Go! Okay, maybe this website's broken now. Uh, GRAMoisinit. Okay, this is a little different. GRA Association. Okay. Now, here is a very nice one. This is one of the examples I wanted to show you. GRA dash Moisenites double S. Was GRA Moisenit taken? Let's see. GRA Moisenit, let's go. Let's go, no S. Oh my god. <laughs> Another one. Okay. Let's try with one S. Oh my god, another one. This is gramoisinit.com. This is gramoisinits.com. And this is gramoisinits.com. Okay, so, uh, awesome. So, okay, here's another one. Let's go to, what's featured? Okay, we've got some diamonds. We've got some diamonds, we've got some stones. Okay, I really fancy emerald. What does it tell me about emerald? Okay, gem experts differ on the degree of green that blah 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 blah. Okay. Uh, do you have one of these nice pages? Where's your emerald, bro? Okay. You don't like emeralds? I don't like you. Is emerald? I can't click on it. 
How about your air mode? Can I click on your air mode? No, oh, I can't click on that either. Okay, so a lot of these websites are derivative. Now, this one, this style of website is the most common one I've seen so far. And they all have the same address. So let's just check. Who else has got this address? Um, C Stone Lab, GRE.HK, that's the one we're looking at. GRE Moisenet.net, GRE.net.cn, GRE Laboratory.com, uh, GRE Moisenet.cn. Okay, so this one organization, they have a lot of websites just for redundancy, I think. So let's go to this website with an unsecure certificate, okay? This website is it broken do we visit this website I don't know they, they all look the same to me it's too slow you get zero for page speed <laughs> gre.net.cn again no certificate not secure I'll go over that in a minute not secure okay that's fine dramoisena.net you get points for being secure because what's your certificate let's encrypt get free certificates so easy enough to get All right now let's start we have we have our benchmark not this one yeah let's go okay that's your home 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 All right gra.hk looks like this home gra.net.cn takes you directly to a certificate page and the same copy pasted thing here and the same address okay let's start with the contact page actually because they all seem to be the same uh, and Chinese Lenzi just like whatever contact meet all right jremoisenet.cn and the same Hong Kong address here Mong Kok Kowloon. Again here, different address, different QR code. Some don't have a QR code like this. Same address, different website address. Points for originality inspection at gra.net. This one is igra.net. Oh, I don't know. This one, okay. So far, hey, eh? open the thing. Wait a sec. This one, gra.hk, okay, gra.hk, gra.hk, this one, gra.moisena.cn, gra.hk, gra.moisena.cn, <laughs> bro, you fixed the website, but you copied the email address, how can I contact you, I don't want to contact you, oh, I don't want to contact these guys, I want to contact you, because you're original, all right, GRA.net.cn, okay, you got a good GRA laboratory.com, GRA laboratory.com, GRA laboratory. Okay, fine. I'm not your English teacher, all right? You can read by yourself. Now, we're going to do something else. This is a domain lookup. Who is? So, if you ever wondered who owns a website, you can more or less get some information about it. So, let's go GRA.hk. I am not a robot. Cars. Car, 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 car. All right, go in. What we will do, we'll open another who is. And we'll grab gramoisenet.cn. Okay, that was nice, didn't have to do capture. But do another who is. I think they limit on how many times you can do it a day. gra.cn, go and grlaboratory.com not what it is who it is okay give me one more please yes all right so we have our gra hong kong gra moisenet.cn gra.net.cn gra laboratory.com all right okay so this one uh january 14th 2019 March 13 
29 and this one april 27 okay let's put them in order from old youngest to oldest so this hong kong one jerry hong kong was the first out of our selections so let's have a look hong kong okay same same place tencent.net okay let's remember that hosted by tencent in hong kong uh chinese organization mr wang dao wang dao shu wang dao shu and we've got a phone number here now this phone number plus 86 is mainland china all right so next one gra moisner.cn wang guang i can't remember the last character okay so this is hosted by ali yun alibaba okay that's fine same place tencent cloud tencent.net okay 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 next one this one straight says alibaba cloud now if you were to read this you think this is two words growl laboratory growl laboratory all right now growl laboratory also hong kong tencent.net okay maybe this is for redundancy i don't know i'm just just saying it, <laughs> saying it as I see. All right, no names. Um, okay. Now, gra.net.cn. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this one is actually hosted in Beijing, I guess. All right, so. This was, this is actually the newest. 2021, this was made. All right, so who do you trust? Do you trust this guy? Do you trust this guy? This guy or this guy? Now, I mentioned before about the security thing. Your website is not secure. This started happening on browsers recently. Now this happens when you go to, for example, HTTP, colon slash slash. So that means your connection to the website is not like, it's not not secure, but it's not super secure. It just means this is, this is a normal way. This is the original way how we used to connect to websites. But what we do now, you'll see every website. You go to google.com. If you check the if you check the address bar, it'll be http.s. You go to Facebook. You go to any website. Http colon slash slash. This one's got s. Now, I go like here. Certificate is invalid. Okay, whatever. I will continue to your website because I'm feeling freaky. Now we've got this dash through the HTTPS. Why? Because your, secure, your connection to the site is not secure. So if it is not valid, they have an expired certificate. No, I don't even think they had a... Wow, okay, awesome. So, invalid certificate. This one, valid certificate. This one. No certificate in or invalid. The same. This one. If we go here, the who is website certificate, and we can check where is the where is the certificate from. Certificate is issued by Komodo CA Limited. Okay. If we check the one that went through some effort to get a certificate, where is your certificate from? Nope, not that. You went through a little bit of effort to get a certificate. It's really not that much effort, especially from Let's Encrypt. They give free certificates. So this, to me, in 2023, even in 2018, having HTTPS on your website proves some sort of legitimacy. I mean, it's not that difficult to get. You even HTTP, I deleted the S. These guys even redirected to HTTPS. So these guys get eight out of 10 for originality. Uh, except for this part, these guys done goofed over here. GRE.HK and GRE Mozanet. Let's see. All right. So, what these websites will all do is they'll all copy each other somehow. Like, this is the newest one, so you think their information is the most up to date. So let's let's just for fun. We go to featured. Okay, they got their all these stones here. What's their newest news? Correct identify. Correctly identify natural ruby with red gemstones. Oh, sorry, 404. Yi Qingqiu, the Wen Zhen Bu, 
uh, something Thai, not here. <laughs> we all know what 404 means. Uh, okay. What else did I have? I don't know. I think I think this is the technical back end side <laughs> that I can show you. So maybe the last question is, can I trust the jeweler that gave me my Moisena jewelry and one of these cards? Well, I'll tell you what, likely the person that gave you this card, they got a real they got a real Moisena stone. I'm not saying I to be honest, I've got like dozens of stones. Like dozens and dozens of stones, dozens of products, millions of these. I don't know, maybe they gave me extras. But all of the stones I've got, they've all been the same. Normal, really normal, perfect stones, not fake. So, likely the person they gave you the card, awesome. Okay, it's something nice to have, something feels good. It feels good. The stone they gave you, also real. But likely the seller, they don't have a lot of information about this and it's purposely done so to try and fool people I guess this guy says trust me bro I got all my certificates I got all my rings and everything from outer space and this guy says trust me bro I got all my rings and everything from another solar system okay who do you trust the guy with this gold certificate or this guy with this slightly yellow certificate so if you can't trust these certificates, how are some ways that you can determine if your Moisena stone is real or not? Diamond testers. Now these diamond testers, or this specific one, Diamond Selector 2, they got so many different names. They just all look like this, exactly like this. Just maybe somebody's put another brand on it. It could be called Selected Diamond 2. Diamond could be spelled differently, 2, 1, 7, 10, whatever. But they all function the same. They come with instructions, or you can just see online how to use them. But this will only tell you if something is hard like a moissanite, hard like a diamond. Okay, so can you tell which one is the moissanite and which one is the cubic zirconia? Let's bang this one. No dice. The big one is the zirconia. The small one is the moissanite just a bigger sample size so i got the silver one carat moissanite ring and i got this gold uh, 14 carat gold moissanite ring with smaller stones so we'll measure the silver one again there's that beep okay come down and then the other one okay there's that beep and we'll measure the smaller stones too Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so you're only gonna get a positive reading if it is a moissanite stone, hard like a moissanite stone, hard like a diamond. Zirconia, maybe, maybe you'll get some bars showing up on here. One, two, three, you put it against steel, hard steel, maybe you'll get something, but only trust this to measure moissanite or diamonds. Aside from doing something very destructive or trying to do something destructive, this is probably your best bet at figuring out if your stone is a diamond or a moissanite. There are other ways to try. You can check online, but for now, I'll leave it at that. GRA certificates are nice to have. Are they authentic? Authentic against what? That's all I can say. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.